Cato Institute is actually named after Cato's letters. These are letters that were about the nature of the limits of power for government, free speech, when to resist government, when government authority goes too far. England had been in an awful lot of wars and accumulated an awful lot of debt, and they were looking for new ways to deal with this. So the British government decided that the best thing to do would be to start a company with a monopoly in trading in the South Seas with the Spanish. This didn't turn out very well. They actually went to war with Spain, but it did take on the English government's debt. And by doing that, it had this massive inflated stock price. People who are running the show basically made out like bandits while other people lost fortunes when the company collapsed. Politicians, people in high places all knew what was going on and were completely gaming the system. And so some scholars think that Cato's letters originally starts as an attack against capitalism. They're attacking this big company and what it's done to the public. But what they're really attacking is the unholy alliance of the state and private enterprise.